Hey, well, everyone, it, it's Eric here. I noticed a lot of people usually uh, say their account name before they start the video, so I figured I'd use my real name instead. So yesterday and part of this morning, I've been working on uh, the High Grade Universal Century Zonko 2 mass production type. So the legs are finished and the torso is finished. Just I worked on one arm, did some panel lining, and the head is finished. All I have to do is do the other arm, as well as weapons. This set uh, has been taking me longer than I expected, but that's because I've been modifying, um, I've been cutting the pegs inside the pieces. Oh, a corner, a corner. I'm not sure if you can tell, but so I can easily remove the pieces. This will come in handy in case like I want to move the monoline or maybe for stop motion later on or swap out pieces if I want to do some kit dashing later on. And in the you know, distant future if I want to paint it, I can easily remove the pieces and then just paint them. Well, if I tr I mean, I'm sure I could still paint them as they are now, but it would be difficult. I get, for some of the pieces, it would be nicer if they're separated. And let's check out the arm. Move the elbow guard. And it comes apart without me using a, a knife or a part separator. I also uh, learned this technique from uh, the Ghost of Zeon. So if you want to check out his website, he has some nifty tutorials. I'll post it later. So should be able to start the Master Grade Ball by tonight. Maybe I'll resume construction of the Zaka later and get an early start on that instead. So I guess that's it for this video. Well actually, my friend, he's, he's considering getting into Gundam model kits because I keep on talking to, to him about over aim. So he's kind of interested in that. So, so hopefully he'll get some kits and we can like, build it together or something. So that's it for now. Until the next video, 